88 films. We are back. What's good? Another episode of Store Credit. Seeing the alarm or sounding. All right, we're back. That's good. Not much. Another weekend in the books. I didn't really do much. What did I do? I worked. And then yesterday I went on a little walk to take pictures around my neighborhood. That's nice. I just worked. I did nothing. I stayed in. I've been real staying in vibes lately. No, yeah, nothing has been calling like my name. I would try to go out a couple of weeks ago and that failed miserably. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I couldn't be out. Like it was too much. Yeah. No, nah, it's it's just that time of the year too where it's like kinda eh. And the weather's been kind of inconsistent. This is the first like Monday we've had with no rain in a minute. So Yeah, literally the first clear sky Monday and low key like a month or so, or even more. Yeah, nah. And then it's supposed to rain again in like two days, so Yeah. Can't even wash my car. But yeah. Oh well. But yeah, back to the world of sneakers. It came well, out this weekend. Oh uh, fuck! I don't even know. I just know that they showed. We got uh, eggplants. Oh yeah, the eggplants. Yeah, eggplants. Maybe kids still might have some. Yeah. Can't wait for a pair. I would say under retail. Call me a baby, but I just don't want to pay full retail for it. Bro, two fifty is a lot. It's a lot. And then I seen a couple stores in New York, um, posting them for like under retail already. Oh, which shit. Is good. And this is New York. Uh, well, one of them is in Jersey. Um, I'm yeah, a big fan still. of that store. It's a new, it, I don't know if it's new, but it's this store called Cakeronics. Oh, sick. Uh, the homie Dave is like their social media guy. Nice. And, bro, it, it's it, they put in work. So if you guys are in Patterson, New Jersey, check them out. But, yeah, they put them out for under retail. Um, it's cool because, like, I've, I've, I keep up with – I follow Dave, but I keep mm-hmm. up with uh, Cakeronics just to see – what they're doing yeah. and it's cool because it's like they're really community based so i really mess with that but yeah i need them on the retail just because i saw them posted on the retail so no facts am i tripping or did those olive fives come out this weekend yeah they they posted those too they yeah. posted the olive fives the green glow threes <laughs> oh shit yeah they posted all like the things and again like shout out to them um posting it but yeah the olive fives came out the lifestyle joins again mm-hmm. i've never i never was a fan of the the two lifestyle Jordan fives, those and the burgundies. Yeah, I don't know. I just it wasn't my thing. They were made really well though. The the what is it? Oh six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those pairs they were made really nice. Like the material on it was really good. Well, yeah, it's crazy. It's been eighteen years, but the new ones are nice. The only thing I don't like about them is that they gave it the icy uh, netting yeah, and all that. Right. Yeah, and I think those look better with the the regular netting, but that's like just me. But it's good, good Jordan. You could probably get a retailer even at discount. If you wait a little bit, um, with a lot of just like a lot of other pairs right now. There's yeah, I think everything is just it's under for Jordans, but it's because it's so much and obviously a lot of people rather just backdoor it for a fraction of wholesale. Well, like a little above wholesale price or whatever. So however that world works. But yeah. yeah, I've seen a lot of people been getting the Jordans for way below retail already. No, yeah, it's real. The only ones that kind of like hold their value are like original colorways, but it's like even like the ones you're wearing, the bread we imagined. Yeah, and they sell really well. Yeah, really like they're well. low-key in and out for us, especially in men's sizes. So um, it's one of those ones where pe- people are probably going to be like, fuck, I should have caught when they came out. Yeah, it's like, look at the SP4s. Yeah, they're slowly but surely going up. Yeah, they're like our size, like consistent 600, yeah. like a steady 600. And they were 325 a couple months ago. No, yeah. Fucking uh, um, I'm excited for those militaries. Yeah, everybody keeps showing them already. Even a customer already tried to hit us up and tried to like reserve. And I was like, bro, we don't do that, unfortunately. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. They're gonna they're gonna do well. I mean, there's gonna be lot lots and lots and lots of pairs. But if the bread reimagined is any like show of what's gonna happen, they're gonna be in and out. And mm-hmm. again, it's the first time they've done Nike Air since '89 on that shoe. Yeah. So it's going to look really nice. And the shape is really good. I've seen a couple pairs of floating around the internet already. Um, so I'm definitely excited for those. Um, but yeah, Jordan brand, otherwise, like, what's what are they dropping next? Uh, I don't know, TBH. The next one that I've seen, at least that, like, is a collab-wise, is uh, those Awake joints. Oh, yeah. The, the airships. airships. But same thing. It, it, the collection was nice. Yeah. The, the flannel was cool. Um, but, I mean, I'm not... 
a big fan of the airship, even though they did do their thing with like the detail and like the aging and the snake skin. Mm-hmm. But me, that it's like I'd rather just have a Jordan one. Sounds cliche, but that's just my opinion. No, I feel you on that. Like, I don't know, same thing when it comes to the airship. And this, again, this might just be me. I feel like it's a shoe that they're like kind of forcing on everybody, yeah, to where they're like, oh, we're, we're gonna keep doing these collabs because even um, social status, they did like five colorways, mm-hmm. it was like crazy because like. I mean, at least from what we see, obviously we're not everywhere. But Amonia, right? Or so. yeah, 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 like Amonia. their their sister uh, brand or whatever. Um, yeah, I feel like they, like they're trying to push that model specifically. Like, uh, and it's just like that one and the the Mac Attack, and it's just like, bro, like <laughs> yeah. The, I I mean, the Mac Attack is to me. I always did, did they order that sixty dollar pair. Oh uh, the yeah, they yeah. only sell if they're like super cheap. No, yeah. the black and white one's still here actually. Oh shit! Yeah, somebody asked us for it on yeah. online, and I sent them the link. But yeah, no. um, but yeah, I mean Jordan brand. Um, who knows what else is coming out? It's a lot of like random colorways. Next one that might, I mean, I doubt it's gonna do anything, but people probably buy it. Those shadow lows. Oh yeah, those it, are that's nice. That's a steady sell. Yeah, that's a good shoe. I seen they already have um the white metallic navies. On sale at most places too. Oh wow! The eighty-five cut too, but the neutral gray eighty-five cut didn't do that well at retail either. Nah, it was one of those things where like people caught on to them a little later, and like that one always sells for us really well whenever we get it in. But the uh, um, but yeah, they're we're going for retail pretty much. But that eighty-five cut, it just doesn't have the same feel as like some of the other like OG lows. Yeah. So I, it's one of those pairs where. It's crazy because even um, I was tripped out. I didn't know those white and burgundy ones, the highs, they're doing them like in six months or whatever. The official release date, people already have them in hand. Yeah. That shit makes no sense. And it's, it's just crazy to see. But um, but other than that, at least from what I've seen, it's like a lot of random colorways, like those green glow ones you've been talking about. Or threes you talked about earlier. There's like, um, what's that other one that has like the tan that they showed with the t- that look kind of like the mochas? The ones with the tan back. Jordan ones? Yeah. Oh, the lattes. Yeah, the lattes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just like another, a bunch of other randoms, but I feel like the safest ones are always going to be the classics. Because yeah. even like with those militaries, um, some dude told us a bunch of stuff yesterday. He had on the last release. And he was telling us, like, yeah, I've been waiting for this release. Like, he's like, I need three pairs minimum. Now, yeah, even these red fours, I want another pair before they start going up. But yeah, yeah I think same thing. That one, I might need two pairs off rip just because it's a white shoe. Mm hmm. Um, but it's, like I said, it's really, really good. Um, and it's going to sit really well with anything you wear, sweats, pants, whatever. Um, but yeah, then you go on to Nike and they're, they just showed the KD, what is it? 18, 17? Oh yeah. They look like the TN. Yeah. It's a TN look alike. He's been testing it out. Like I said, besides KD fours, I never really tried out his line besides okay i stopped at four because mm-hmm. i did the three the three was pretty good to ball in obviously 10 plus years ago um never tried the fives the one that looked kind of like hyperdunks nah they yeah. i, I like the hyperdunk way more and i didn't yeah. really i feel like those were made really cheap because you remember they had the nerf oh and then yeah they had the, and they had the galaxy pretty much or the area 72 whatever and they they just seemed like they were made like we would i would touch them and they just felt really cheap no, nah, I know what you mean, cause that's I felt the same way. Even though like a lot of people like that model, the KD six, I always hated how it had like Which that weird the flap. KD6? The ones that they did like the peanut butters. Oh and yeah, yeah, the one that had the the crazy uh like three like heat one too. Yeah, yeah. They had like a lot of interesting colors for that one, but I don't know. Like that one's one that like a lot of people do like still, but I, I never was a fan of it. And that was like I remember like the end of Nike basketball. Yeah. Like, hot streak or whatever. Yeah, but. and then um, what else did they got coming out soon? Oh, they showed that Air Max that Skate was talking about, the the one with the neon bottom. Oh yeah, that's funny because we was just talking about the old one, and then boom, they show us the freaking uh, the blue colorway with LeBron wearing it. But, but it's a big bubble, right? It's yeah. not just yeah. And it's like bro, like even um, it's funny we got one in yesterday, the Obsidian colorway, and the big bubble just feels like a lot heavier, and like it doesn't it doesn't have as good of a shape as like just the regular Air Max one. No, yeah, I I wasn't a big fan of the big bubble, but it looked cool. I mean, just because it like obviously give you like a nostalgic feel, but same thing. I don't know if, how it's gonna be. Um, pretty much seen by the masses, like how are they gonna feel about it? No, yeah, because it was funny too. Even we was talking about um, 
with Gate about how they the cereal packs and then boom last week we got the fucking LeBron fours and Kit did the collab. Yeah, they and did they the, dropped it with the whole pack and everything. Yeah, Kit treats. Yeah, so that was yeah. I saw cool he pulled to up too. That was yeah. cool. That, see, like that. That's the type of stuff that Nike should be doing. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure that was mainly more Kith than anything. Yeah, they probably pushed for that. Like, hey, we're doing the Fruity Pebbles collab. It should be perfect to be revolved around the LeBrons. Oh, shit, LeBrons in L.A. Yeah, and he pulled pull up. up they LA didn't store. announce it because if they would have announced it, it would have been a shit show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it was cool that he just pulled up, coughed his own shoe, yeah. and got his treat and everything. But, yeah, no, that, 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 that installation, even in New York, looked pretty cool. But same thing. It's just like they got to do stuff like that more. But like, again, we posted the the LeBron and a lot of like newer sneakerheads hate on it. But yeah, I get it. You know, it's like you weren't there, so you don't understand it. And it was funny because the day before the release, mm-hmm. our homie, um, he pulled up and he said that he could have sold his original pair for 8K and he passed yeah. on it. And he even commented <laughs> saying like, yo. <laughs> like what the fuck because they're 300 dollars now or 350 whatever it is no yeah because a lot of like the newer guys don't know that like during that like bomb tag era of lebron's like a lot of his samples and peas and whatnot were going for like steady 5 to 10k yeah no matter what anything uh, yeah like i don't know if people remember all the nines that were coming out the nine i think was the most bom tag that i ever saw facts and they were doing like elite colorways yeah. of the like regular ones and it, it was just like really cool to see I remember the tennis. I remember the perfect pair used to have like every single pair. Also, R for twenty. Yeah, his cousin. Yeah, yeah. They all had every single anything Nike basketball that was crazy elite. They had obviously they had SBs and everything, but I remember them mainly for their crazy Nike basketball collection, which was sick to see. Yeah, no, I still follow Kenny Perfect Pair on uh, IG, and he still does like his crazy posts of like a certain model with all the colorways like in a pinwheel, and it's dope to see because. He has like stuff that nobody else has and on top of like just like classics and stuff that he likes so it's cool to see that um but yeah that was like a crazy time for fucking nike basketball yeah, and shit. stupid fruity pebbles even yesterday we got in the um the, the lebron 2 beast pack, right? yeah, yeah. So. and how much are they now uh 140 and retail was 250 and the, that's a brand new pair that's crazy and the crazy and that- thing is is it's probably gonna chill for us <laughs> like it's nuts but yeah. that was another one that i think like pj tucker debuted it like as a sample like from one of the games that he played and like nobody ever saw it besides him and maybe braun wearing it and again like now 140 dollars show <laughs> yeah but I, I think it might sell one thing i noticed about us at least that like uh-huh. the random is the random is stuff would be selling but it's just because people have access to it. Like, they see it here, and they're like, oh, shit, they took it. Like, oh, I could get it for below retail. Yeah. Just and because a lot of thing. stores don't do that. Yeah, a lot of people don't want to take chances on it. Or even, like, I think also when we tell people, like, hey, we're very transparent. Like, hey, if I'm giving you this, this is what I'm pricing it for. Like, it's not something that we're like, oh, okay, I'm going to do a crazy markup. And sometimes it's people get it once they see that. Because even yesterday, uh, we got another 01 bread in. And just coincidence, same size came in last week. I, I paid three for it. I told the dude I am pricing at four. And then the dude that came yesterday, like, yo, why are you like why is it only this amount? And I was like, hey, bro, look, I got another one in last week, priced it at this exact same amount. And look, I still got the royal. The royal's chilling. It's damn near dead stock, but yeah. it's just the times that we're in. And like, you know, you just gotta go with the flow of the market and everything. And yeah, same thing. Gave him three, priced it at four, and hopefully it sells this week. Yeah, I think people have to understand if you're mm-hmm. looking for the high right now, it's not the time to sell at all. No facts, yeah, because even perfect example, freaking um, those Travis Frags, the highs. One mm-hmm. of the ones we got in recently, the Came homie back. got from us when they were still at 4K, and he sold them back to us. We priced it at 28, so it's like yeah. he lost basically half his bread, but it's like that's the market now, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, for example, um, the Cactus Jack, the Jumpman Jack. Oh, yeah. It's like for some reason a size 13 goes for so much bread, but it's just like just wait let us, like it's almost like let us like take the l take the l in a way like we got it just to display it but it's mm-hmm. like later on especially if you just want wanted to flex or anything it's just like when let's let's just say i don't know i don't know if there's gonna they're gonna re-release a lot of people say yes some people say no but let's say it becomes a 500 hundred dollar shoe and you're like damn so they sold me this shit for 21 22 whatever 22 50 anything above two g's anything about a, above a rack you're gonna feel damn they took me to the pain it's just like bro but that's the fucking you pay to play yeah 
Um, that's the thing. Sometimes we get stuff early knowing that we're going to take an L on it, but it's cool just to give people a chance to see it early and kind of make their decision on it too. Like, okay, sh- is this something I want to go for when it actually comes out? Or, eh, yeah, I'll it looks nice, it. but same thing. It's just like... Yeah. The whole like oh I want to be first like culture is just like bro just just get it when it's a good price you know like people are paying five hundred dollars for bread reimagines you know five fifty like yeah no it's real even um yeah everything's just like settling out right now like it's crazy like to see like over the weekend we got in a bunch of different ones that last even just last year they were double the price of what they are now and like earlier today we packed up an Obsidia one we used to sell those all day brand new 450 used 300 this one mad clean sold it for 180 yeah but it's just like you got to adapt to the mar- to the market and wherever it's at now mm-hmm. but yeah it's just like it doesn't make sense to buy shoes early now like um same homie that um with the fruity pebbles um, he told me he was just like, Oh, I just sold the Futura dunk and I'm like, Oh, how much? And he's like fifteen hundred. Oh shit. And I was just like, fuck. And I was just like, I've seen him go for two G's, two 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 twenty three hundred. Yeah. But we were talking about it, and we're like, Yeah, it's gonna be a four to five hundred dollar shoe. It's yeah. gonna be a good amount of pairs. And he even asked me, he's like, Oh, would you want one to display at the shop? And I'm like, Oh, that'd be cool. Well, how much can you get it for? And we settled. I'm like, Yeah, I think if you pushed it at fifteen, we could probably push it at fifteen. But mm-hmm. then I was just like, that person that buys it at 15 that it, like is going to be upset yeah because uh, they're going to be later on like damn i really paid this much for this yeah like uh leo told us the story of how like he went to um what is that thing got oh yeah with the crenshaws when they were like 700 yeah. dollars, and he said that he somebody offered him seven for like eight six pairs or something like that uh-huh. and that he almost passed because he was just like oh, i don't know i think they're gonna hold and literally that next Sunday after the God Soul event, they, they were three fifty. Yeah. And he was just like, "Thank God I sold them." No, yeah, that's the thing with the early early pairs. Literally overnight, they could be half the price or less. Yeah, it happens all the time. So. But then some. But for people that are saying like, "Oh, sneakers are cooked," there is the good sneakers are going up very mm-hmm. slow, but they are going up. Like the SB fours, for example, like they're five, six, the seven maybe for some bigger sizes, but. Yeah. It's taking time, but obviously I feel like they're going to hold and they're going to go up. Same thing with like lobsters, like anything that's like actually good. Mm -hmm. It's going to stand the the test of time, I would say. No, definitely. I feel like that's going to happen by the end of the year with the reimagined threes once they like start drying up for real. Because even us, like we're slowly but surely getting in less and less pairs every week. Yeah. And And they sell. And they sell really well. And it's one of those shoes where I think it could easily be like a $400 shoe by the end of the year. Yeah, like I even uh, was telling one of my homies because he buys a lot of Asics, and I was like, bro, I think that shit came and went. And mm-hmm. then he's just like, oh, what do you mean? And I was just like, like, they're cool. I still think they're great. You know, it's a comfortable, nice-looking shoe. But as in, like, for resale, I was like, bro, just let them sit. There's certain colorways that you're supposed to let sit because yep. he buys all of them and puts them on stadium goods, and he's like, bro, they slow down. He's, he's even <laughs> tried to offer me pairs. And I'm like, bro, I don't want them. Like, yeah. Uh. Like I'll take them. Like when what, we, we took that um that canyon or whatever. Yeah, but we're pricing them at down near our retail. Yeah, and it's old, but I think it's old. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah I did yesterday. Somebody came for like early, but it's one of those things where it's again like if it's not offensively priced, it's gonna move. And sometimes yeah, you, like at a stadium or like a flight, you'll get lucky. You'll get somebody that's really desperate for something, and they'll buy it on the spot just for the access. But even like talking about it now with a lot of people people are down to wait now like they don't want to like pay the high and we have so many resources to where like you may be at a shop and you'll be like oh let me check real quick what it's at somewhere else and you might find it for half the price somewhere else and you're like oh why am i gonna buy it here like people don't care no more to be like oh shit i need it this fast now they're down to wait even if it's a couple days if they gotta ship it no yeah same i mean before (laughs) i always wanted everything first and then Uh, now it's like oh whenever it comes in i'll take it yeah. But yeah, I feel like people are the patience is definitely they're they're just kind of like learning from mistakes. I would say they're mm-hmm. seeing mm-hmm. what has happened before, and they're like, "Fuck that! I'll just wait for release." Because again, like same thing. I think what I got these after release, the breath. Yeah, yeah. Like or the week of same yeah. thing. I could have paid. What well, were we paying three fifty for pairs? They're not early. Being like damn near retail. Yeah, and then paid retail. It's just like cool. Just wait. Um, same thing with the military. So I'm gonna wait. Because I know I'm going to be able to get two pairs off rip for retail or 20 bucks over. 
Yeah, for sure, because they're, they're going to be something similar to these when they come out or even, like, probably get lucky and somebody we know that works somewhere will ask us if we want a pair. Yeah, if you want a pair. But even, um, but same thing, again, going back to, like, sneakers go up, when something cool happens is uh, the Dion's. Oh, the yo, that is crazy to see what they're at now. So we got a pair in that we paid 220 should you not. Mm-hmm. We paid 220 for it, and we put it at 300 Yeah. And nothing happened. It chilled that that first couple of days and lebron wore one that looked exactly like his lebron i think it was lebron model yeah if i'm correct that he made it look one. that he made it look like the dion mm-hmm. and just because of that all-star game those shit shot up and they're like 556 now yeah it's funny because the dude that brought it in came in last week talking about it. he's like yo you see what those dion's are right now <laughs> and but i was yeah, just like yeah bro but you know like but, there's a reason why you sold it to us like and then he dm'd yeah. he dm'd me when they went up and he's oh, just yeah. like now you can upcharge and i'm like bro it sold for 300 yeah like i would never do that like that happened when we did it inventory a lot of the shoes that people weren't paying attention to in here went up mm-hmm. and same thing i could have easily been like you know i jack up the price of it but no i just you know found it like keep it going but yeah, that Dion was a prime example of like, I would say nostalgia getting to people or even seeing LeBron wear it at the All-Star game where that shit shot up out of nowhere and didn't know how limited it actually was. Yeah. That it went up double the price, but same thing. It sold for 300 Boo-hoo. You know, like we sold it for 220 Somebody is hyped or somebody bought it and made money on it. Yeah. But it's, it's part of it onto the next. Like, yeah. It's just like, you can't, you know, is. just keep it pushing. But yeah, he he straight up told us he's like, oh, now you could upsell on it. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do that, bro. And it's gone, yeah. and it's old for yeah. 300. Way after. Um, no, it was just right before it happened, so that's just funny. But yeah, it's like, yeah, who cares, bro? You win some, you lose some. Like, like we didn't lose, so it don't matter. Yeah, somebody got a good steal. Yeah, but no, it's it's cool. Um, they dropped a couple things this morning, actually, like teasers. Not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of them, but I know they're gonna go crazy. Those Verdi SBs. Oh yeah, the SBs, the furry ones. To me, it looks like a bad like custom of like a baby bear or a fucking Grateful Dead, whatever. I like the color palette that it's in, yeah. but I'm not a fan of furry shoes. Like, yeah, like as in like SBs, like even the 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 Papa Mama Bear pack. Like I was never a fan of it just because I was just like they're cool to look at. They're they're great shoes. I thought the Grateful Dead collection was terrible, um, <laughs> but that's just me. Yeah, no, nah, there, there, it's it's cool, like what the inspo is, like that, like creature that he uses for like pl- plushies or whatever. But I don't know, just seeing it, it just makes me feel like, damn, like we're it's gonna, indie. it's gonna do really well though. Yeah, I think, I think it's gonna do really well. He has a big fan base. It's a good, like I said, it's a good, good colors. It's a lot better than the first one he did too, just like as far as creativity goes, because the oh, first no. one was that red one. Yeah. And that was literally and that's just all red the, again, shoe. and that just sells based on his fan base, I would say, because the shoes yeah. are right. Like at best, but he has a very, very big fan base that it's gonna do well. But yeah, I'm not a fan of the fur, but again, I feel like Nike SB loves doing blue shoes. Yeah. Right now. Like they have this thing where like <laughs> everything always have a lot of blue material some or something, but like the Futuras blue shoe, Crenshaw blue shoe, Udo slightly blue shoe. I feel like born there's and raised. born and raised, <laughs> April's like they power would, puffs. Power <laughs> puffs. There's a lot of blue Nike SB right now, which is sick, but I really feel like they should have, like for the Futura, yeah. they should, do, this is my f- game plan for something like that. You know, the old uncle, the low top. Thing. Oh yeah, the olive joints. Do like a hundred FNFs or like something crazy like that. Yeah. And then with the release or something, you know, have fun with it. Obviously, who knows? There's probably like legal things that I don't know of going on in the back end, but make it fun, you know? Like for example, the one thing with the Supreme DN that I really like is there's 50 pairs only of the silver bullet colorway. Oh, that's tight. I thought they it's were F- dropping later. It's FNF from what I heard. Yeah. It's FNF and there's only 4,000 pairs of the black joint. Of the black joint. Damn. So and, super limited. And 30 pairs only dropped at the LA store from what I was told to the public. Yeah. Damn, so they probably did that to every store since they, they have so many shops now and then whatever was re- left after seating and shit. Yeah, so online. yeah, so that one, that Supreme DN, the Silver Bullet, there's yeah. only 50 pairs of FNF and that's what makes it fun. You know, like that's like, oh shit, like there's only 50 pairs of the shoe or there's only 4,000 of the shoe. Yeah, because sometimes it's not all about just like throwing like a big number for a release because it makes it, more exciting for even just the regular pairs people are gonna be like oh okay i couldn't get this one i'll get this one especially if it's something that people are a fan of you know what i mean 
Yeah, we were just talking about the whole way how everybody was just like, damn, they should have dropped the Kobe 7. They should have redropped the Galaxy pack all together. Uh -huh. But same thing, I feel like Nike doesn't want pairs to sit, so they feel like we got to do one at a time right now. Because it's weird that they didn't drop the, the foam for All-Star Weekend. Yeah, it sucks because they probably think like, yo, if it's not an instant sellout, it's a flop. And it's like, bro, that's not how things are right now. Like, it takes oh, time. takes time. And also, like, there's just so much stuff that you guys keep on dropping. Like, people don't have like unlimited pockets you know what i mean like people gotta have other bills and responsibilities that to where yeah i mean shit if we could all buy every shoe every fucking weekend i'm pretty sure we would but that's not how it works either so just like circle like fall back on some of the releases and other stuff will do better yeah but yeah, i think those uncles the futuros um the regular one the blue one with the icy soul is gonna do really well though is do they have a release date for that already supposedly april but again yeah i don't know who knows no yeah that one's already looking like one of the the top sbs of the year i know we haven't had that many leaks yet but yeah. that one looks really good yeah i mean the verdi one is gonna do well and it's verdi right yeah yeah yeah, yeah that one should do well and then freaking see what else we get this year because yeah loki they, they've been kind of quiet with like there was the city of love pack and then that's it yeah and that one um like flop fast it's a really nice shoe though yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The burgundy one in person is nicer than the pictures give it. And it's not like a collab or anything, but those deep royals are really, really oh, good. Oh yeah. The the ones that look like Pro Bees. Yeah. Yeah. Those are made really well and again. They have literally new balance type materials. Yeah. Like, and they're not going they're going for damn near retail right now. Yeah. So But the same thing, we get them in and they go. Mm -hmm. Just because again, it's really, really nice. Yeah. It's another one. So that that's good to see. But yeah, I don't know if you've seen uh, also they previewed those new drill fresh goods. Oh, yeah, those are nice at 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, I like the eggplant one. I like it reminds the me ones. of the Skepta. Facts. Yeah. I forgot the original model that uh, that the Skepta used after. It's like, it's another Air Max. Uh, I'll look for it, and I'll send it to Rob or something. But Yeah, it has that, that color scheme. It's mm -hmm. really nice. Um, Hopefully that model fits good. I've never tried on that model. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I'll try it on. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I need it, but I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's one of those pairs where, like, if they if, pull if it up in here. My life, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I'm cool. pretty sure somebody will send us a link. Facts, yeah. Maybe. And then fucking. Because we got um, the last couple of pairs like that. Yeah, he's been killing it as far as, like, as a whole with storytelling. I think he's one of the best storytellers in the game right now. Yeah, I saw that he, uh, he posted, he tweeted, like, uh -huh. oh, I don't know, New Balance dropped me. <laughs> but again, it was just more to, like, it was like a build bring up hype attention and shit. to it. Yeah. Yeah. But that was cool. I mean,. His last collection did really well. I think the Keisha is a little bit overpriced. Yeah. But, but the other ones always in and out. They out. always sell really well just because of the price. Obviously, I'm not a big fan of the Keisha colorway. I think it's a bit much, but people love it. Mm -hmm. um, but I, the black and the white one are really nice, and they always sell just because I feel like they're fairly priced for no, what it yeah. is. It's a good shoe, good, good colorway, easy to throw on. Yeah. Cause yeah, even those other um, those other eight sixties that just dropped the the aims, we barely got in any of those in. Yeah, those are nice in my opinion. Yeah, we got in the the volts and the the orange joints last week, and they're they're really cool. It's just like cool, good colorways. Oh yeah. Um, interesting shoe of the week last week. Off white Nike, off white regular basketball shoe that looks like a basketball. That was crazy. That was insane. Lie. The Joker colorway. Bro, they even did like a bedazzle drawing. Yeah. Like, is somebody actually going to try and hoop in those is a question? Or is this like just a troll? Who's hooping in those? Let us know in the comments. Who do you think <laughs> is the first person that's going to hoop in the, the off-white basketball shoe? Yeah. It's, I don't even know what to say about that shoe. I just, not a fan. It's almost like a troll. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That's how I felt about that whole collection. I was looking through it the other day. I was like. What, the off-white yeah. stuff? Yeah. No. The new stuff is not like yeah. I don't know. I really I don't I haven't really paid attention to anything I would say high fashion lately. Yeah. Mainly just been wearing stuff that we sell. Facts. The coolest thing high fashion it was the Tyler stuff. No, yeah, it looks really nice. He 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 dropped a really solid collection and like high key a lot of that stuff is better than the stuff that Pharrell's dropped so far. Yeah, though the wallets were nice, the jacket. I think I'm gonna try to get the jacket. Um yeah, the way he did the the, the hand drawn monogram print is hard, and yeah, it's like he just made really tasteful stuff, and like he went with his aesthetic too. So it was like cool that he put his flip on it, and 
yeah, it's all really well. Like shout out to Tyler, he's been killing it. Yeah, that was like some of the nicer, um, I would say, high fashion stuff that I've seen in a while. Mm-hmm. One st- a collection that I saw that was kind of cool was um, Daniel Lee's Burberry. That was nice too. But same thing, it's yeah. just like, ah, am I gonna spend money on this? I'll probably get over it. It's probably one of those things where you see it, it looks really nice, and then you just kind of get over it. That's oh, one thing okay. I for sure have been doing pretty well at is buying stuff that I'm actually like, all right, come wear this 500 times in a year. Yeah. It makes no sense, but you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, But yeah, just the stuff that I'm like, kind of like one and done or just kind of like, uh, kind of overdoing that. No, it's good. Except sneakers. I like sneakers. I think sneak up, but again, sneakers are affordable. So it's like affordable right now. Yeah. And then even like with sneakers, having the shop and everything, once you get over them, throw them in here for a good price, bless somebody. Yeah, it's just keep the ball forward. rolling. Yeah, get a new one, trade it. Get a new one, trade it. Yeah, it's all like just a cycle. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, other than that, um, I seen Fear of God is dropping another shoe this month, I think. Uh, that's <sighs> the thing with the Fear of God stuff. Like, it was cool that they did that whole like collection with like some of the basketball teams, and they give them their own colorways yeah. and everything. That was tight. But that that model, it's just not like it's not the easiest to throw on. Yeah, it's. And I mean, just the fit of it. Again, he has like the the following, but I don't know. Like, the, even the the original ones, they they slowed down. The first month they were doing pretty well. Mm-hmm. Where we're like, yeah, we'll take them. And now it's just like, ah, it's just like they're slow sales slow or they'll sell online. And yeah, it's one of those things where, like, the thing about Jerry stuff, it's very Jerry in the sense of like it's like fear of God. If you dress fear of God, you're gonna love it. <laughs> Max just pulled up. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, uh, other than that, I mean, there's not too much stuff coming out. I'm a- actually very excited for, like, Supreme stuff, our stuff. Um, yeah, Supreme has a lot of nice things pulling up. Um, even that, uh, what's that, the collections that are dropping this week? will be out by the time we're, this all is the, It's that skate brand, fuck. <laughs> toy Machine. Yeah, 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 Toy Machine. Hey, you know, it's fucked. Two things happened to me this weekend where I was just like, bro, I just got to fucking pump this shit out. Uh. And last year, uh, me and Skinny did a, like an eBay rip and mm-hmm. we called it Power Seller. Oh, and then the Balenciaga. And then Balenciaga, Balenciaga stuff came out this weekend. And it, and it's funny because right away when it dropped, we send it to each other. Fuck. Um, and then we did a we did a toy machine rip with three eyes. Uh, oh, my God what's it called like last summer and it was just in my it's been in my email but now if we drop it we're the ones that and copied. even like i don't know if we talked about it before this tea was made before supreme dropped yeah, it their was. fucking it's funny. Tea. it was made before supreme and then but again i'm not gonna sit here and be like ah because blah, blah, i'm not that type of guy it's just like everybody with i feel like with, with graphic design it's everybody's take if you flip it and do it in your own way, it's your take on something that's already been done before. Everything's a copy of each other. But I'm not mm-hmm. literally just going to make something and just change to, to syndicate. Like, it has to have some iteration, some change. But, yeah, like, that that was made a long time ago. Yeah. But, yeah, I think, like, again, like, everything is a copy of something. You just got to make it where it speaks to what to who you are, I would say, or to what you're trying to push. Not 100% because it's, it's a form of your identity. Yeah, but yeah, I was. I'm not gonna lie. The Valencia one got me sick. Like yeah. that one, I was just like, like I threw up in our house because <laughs> I woke up to that shit. Like I was just like, bro, come on, like, yeah. and I, I wanted to do it in sweats and things. But same thing, it's like I would probably still do it, and honestly, our shit's gonna be better. But <laughs> yeah, because that shit. I mean, just keeping a bugger shut's a fucking eBay local on the yeah, fucking Balenciaga Cindy blank and Power Seller, and it's obviously gonna be a fraction of the price. But yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I woke up really tight. Like I was pissed. Because of that one. The Supreme one, I get it, you know. It's, yeah. it's Supreme. I love Supreme. But the Valenciaga one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it happens, bro. Yeah, but, I mean, shout out to Skinny, bro. I'm just going to give that man a quick shout out. Because yeah. that man. He's from the that, future. <laughs> he's from the future. That whole <laughs> runway, co- Demna's runway collection of the Erwan shit. Yeah. Literally, I shit you not. When, when did I go? When did we open? 2021? That's been Skinny. Literally. I went to New York right a month yeah. after we left. And I linked Skinny. And he literally had every single outfit that they were wearing at that runway. Like, that just happened last summer. And when that collection came out, I sent it to him. I'm like, bro, this literally looks like you. <laughs> it's true, though. <laughs> no, it's literally true, bro. Shout out to Skinny, bro. That man is literally has a God-given talent, I would say. Yeah, nice goat, for real. 
But yeah, I mean, other I don't even know what the fuck's coming out. Um, I mean, we're eventually gonna get that Travis trainer, hopefully. Yeah, the the check. Hopefully it comes out. Hopefully it drops in price. I think it's really nice, really well made. Yeah. I, mean, I really, really want them to drop the one that he wore at the Super Bowl. I, I'm i telling you, like, I have really this good. outfit in my head where I just like, that's what I'm going to wear with it. And I want it. The and all so, red suede with the gum bottoms. Yeah. That one, that pair that he wore for the Super Bowl was fire. Yeah. It's like I was talking about. It looks like a good, like, trainer SB. Like, them shits look hard. Like, yeah. Uh, that's, that's one of the good ones. But yeah, I mean, y'all let us know in the comments too what y'all looking forward to because we're technically still in the first quarter of the year. So yeah, it's been, it's been a slow, like, as in like, drops wise yeah. but slow for good stuff he- fast for bad stuff facts but yeah i mean i feel like brands have missed out on so much shit like for example lebron just fucking did 40k give us a shoe bro that was a big fumble that's just like opinion. nike drop yeah. boom done like we were literally talking about that um last week mm-hmm. like even um as something as simple for example the emeralds and the core purples again those names sound boring you yeah. call those the the statue unveilings or something like that? Twenty fours or the, the yeah the the two twenty fours um or something. You just play with it a little, market it a little different. There it creates this like nostalgia inside of you. We're like, damn, I don't want to miss out on the statue days or something. To me, core purple emerald was boring, in my opinion. Um, but same thing, just have fun with it. I feel like, or even drop a super um, super limited drop on sneakers or something um we were talking about how like uh she kept wearing uh vanessa kept wearing the the dodger ones opening day bro sneakers launch boom or drop them just at dodger stadium or at dodger stadium boom like how they have the passes where oh you can only buy it if you're in this area whatever. or if you have the ticket for this game yeah make it super limited like even even like fucking bespoke 200 how many people fit in that stadium it's a fuck ton a couple thousand Okay, do do fucking let's just say do twenty five thousand dollars twenty five k pairs at the st- at the team store. Drop yeah. them, boom. Ha- like I feel like Nike has to have fun with it, and I think that's their way of pretty much getting back to the top of the sneaker game. I mean, they're probably still on top numbers wise, but like as in like coolness. Like I feel like the LeBron forty k thing, you missed out on a very good drop. Yeah, in my opinion, it might be too. You might be planning something, but it's just like, bro, just give it to us that day. Yeah, it would have been cool. Very in the moment. We would have we would have fucking gotten that <laughs> notification right here. I'm pretty sure everybody, not even thinking that it's gonna go for bread, we would have all copped it just because we're like we were watching the game. We're like, boom! I want to watch it because I want to be part of this, yeah, of this I, moment. I was or there people, when it happened. Yeah, when we were at the, at the Christmas game, they gave us the that's Mamba tees. But same thing, do a sneakers launch for the Gift of Mambas, you know, or how he did it with the, when he gave the whole first row the Grinches when they dropped. yeah, the courtside ones. Like, that made those people that were there and spent so much bread or whatever, like, feel part of something. So I think it's just, like, you take away the fun from the game, of a sneaker game, and it's just kind of like, ugh. Because now, if they do a, a milestone shoe, it's too. It's like I, I'm already over the. All right, he's onto the playoff run. You know, like yeah. we were talking about how like Nike used to do those like championship packs, like playoff packs, like all that stuff. Like, and they were really good at it, and that's why they would sell really like for the high or yeah. why people wanted them. It also made people like look forward to looking to, at the game. Like, oh shit, what is this fool gonna wear tonight? Yeah, like LeBron yeah. watch. Yeah. LeBron watch was a big thing. He was wearing certain shoes, and he was like, he would post about it, and boom, sneakers drop. Mm-hmm. I think it was LeBron. What? Fuck, I don't was know. It, it was the. Uh, I remember the 15, it was the Dion. Right? Yeah, it was like the fifteen. Yeah. Where he had the Dion's and the all Superman's, that stuff. Superman's, yeah. the fucking Griffies, all that shit. Yeah, but yeah, I feel like if they have fun with it and kind of keep the thing about it is everybody wants to feel part of something. Yep. Right. And not feel like oh, I'm just giving you money for a pair of shoes. Yeah, it's like a memory attached to it. Exactly. But, yeah, I mean, other than that, I don't know what's next. Dodger season's coming up. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's, it's definitely, uh, eh. we'll see. But, yeah, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. Just like how the show, I don't know if you guys are mm. tuning into both platforms. Um, in the show, I read all the questions and do a thing. So maybe let's car- start a segment like that. That'd be kind of cool. Where So we'll give you guys a shout out, ask a question, we'll answer it. Um, but yeah, down yeah. here. And thank you for tuning in. See you guys next week.